Hi everyone, Heather Mahalik here with another Tip Tuesday. This week I wanna talk about locations and make sure that you understand the difference on if a location was carved within PA or if it was automatically just parsed during the extraction process. So here we can see the little pickaxe and I'm just in the maps under locations. When you see that pickaxe, if you hover above it, you can clearly see it says carved for each of these. Yes, you can right click on it and you can do retrieve address and you will get the address shown on the source information on the right hand side. But what you need to do is verify the timestamps. You need to verify that the device was actually in that location. What I often do is I will zoom in and look at my areas of interest to see if they make sense, but I always go to timeline. And from the timeline, I will then dig in and say, okay, does this make sense? Was the place here? I cannot stress enough, please verify the source file. The source file is huge. You need to make sure you verify the data in the source file to ensure it's correct and that the tool is going through and grabbing latitude longitudes and that they are legitimate. The final thing I wanna point out as far as carving, you can also go to tools, carving, carve locations. You can carve for additional locations during the processing phase when you're extracting the data from the device within physical analyzer. And then the final thing you can do, and I've mentioned this before, is go into settings and make sure under decoding that you have the appropriate items selected. I like to use deep carving for SQLite because there are latitudes and longitudes that are hidden in there, as well as deleted artifacts that may impact your investigations. But again, please verify, please follow the path, and always, always look at the source file.